Hey guys, and welcome back to another What the Heck Is This? And today we're going to be looking at the newest iteration of Street Fighter Mobile. Um, it's not what you think. Most people were thinking, ooh, it's going to be um, like a really... What's the word I'm looking for here? Um, a really interesting um, take on maybe a classic Street Fighter 2 um maybe the the um what was it the the um was it the super game boy it was i know it was on, on one of the game boys they came out with a version of Sh super street fighter 2 where the controls were actually quite um innovative and uh, i actually quite liked it but no it's not this at all it's one of these idle fighter wannabe things where you have to collect shards and 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 do a whole bunch of other stuff so in it, before i totally take a big crap on this game here it is this is as you can see i there's my friend id if you want to add me i do play the game off and on i'm currently uh, playing the game through a uh, blue stacks emulator so it does work with blue stacks guys um and uh, now i've got the um volume and that turned off because of course the music's copyrighted um and various other things you can link your google account um you can't link facebook or anything like that to it yet um i've run into a few issues with the game one of which is there's a huge skill gap between what the game wants you to do and what you can do now let me explain <clears throat> This here is the challenge area. This is where you level up and you get like these Coke EXP cans that you can then use on your fighters to level them up. Now, my my first gripe that I have is with the actual fighter roster. Okay? Now, this is the current fighter roster in the game okay now you're going to notice a whole bunch of inconsistencies here or at least i did anyway as as a huge street fighter fan um some of the newer characters that have been added in i'm not too 100 percent on like you're like, like is it uni jury so jury i know jury because i've seen her in street fighter for uh street fighter 4 street fighter 5 can't remember um i i really got out of the the street fighter game uh, on street fighter 3 uh, was it, it wasn't double impact it was the one after that um and so you can understand i i the height of street fighter that i liked was the old cps2 system so think um street fighter alpha 2 or zero 2 depending on what, what region you was when you was playing the game uh, it's the same game alpha and zero are the same game it's just they changed the name because of japan and, and reasons but this is one of my big gripes okay you've got gen okay cool but there's no akuma everybody knows gen and akuma are the counters to each other okay so you've got rose good jury got him bison okay or vega as is known as japan but where's sagat where's vega where's borog they're missing akuma missing okay so you got Chung Lee, okay, cool, great, nice, cool, come in there. Got Guile, you've got this French MMA guy, Abel, okay. Then you got Kame, cool, guy, cool. Ying Yang, okay, from Street Fighter 3. Um, T Hawk, cool. Uh, a variant of Zangief called Beast Zangief, okay, whatevs. Uh, Blanca, okay, cool. A Honda, cool. Regular Zangief, Poison, and then you've got Ilana or Elena from Street Fighter Three, Moko from Street Fighter Three. Okay, you've got Mad Ryu because they can't call him Evil Ryu because, well, reasons I guess. So we, he's now called Mad Ryu. We've got Combat Guile. So there's two Guiles in the game. Okay, so you've got regular Guile up here. And combat guile down there. We've got two versions of Zangief. So we've got regular Zangief and, and mad Zangief. Okay. So we've got, of course, we've got, uh, 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 oh, this is Charming Dudley. So we've got Charming Dudley. So there's two Dudleys. 
two Zangiefs and two Giles. Why? I don't know. Regular Dalsim, we've got Hugo, who doesn't do any of the Hugo things that Hugo's known for in Street Fighter 3, which is his throws. Okay? His first alpha is that. He beats up a can and then punches his chest. And he gets a potato, whatever that means. Uh, then he's got his Moonsault Oppress. And then he's got his Ultra Throw. Which, again, there, there's no Hammer Mountain. So, that makes sense. Oh, and this is another thing. Um, he doesn't team up with Poison. Um, in this game, they've got basically like a sort of buddy system if you want to call it that where some fighters gain passives and bonuses for working with other fighters of course you've got viper okay and then you've got add-on again add-on but no cigar you've got the uh, uh, uh psycho conditioned kame called De decapri which isn't her name at all um then you've got fei long of course dj okay You've got Mayor Cody, not Hagar. Then we've got uh, an alternate skin for Sakura, or Sakura, and then an alternate skin for Blanca, uh, an alternate Blanca, Fashion Blanca. Okay, so, and then now we've got the regulars. So we've got Ibuki, Cody, um, Rufus, Dan, Sakura, Ryu, um, Hucken, who reminds me of Duran from Street Fighter Alpha, uh, uh, Street Fighter EX. Only he says that is a DDT. He doesn't say that's a DDT. Then you got Ken and you got Rolento again, who's not associated with Mad Gear, but he's from Final Fight that was all about Mad Gear. So go figure. And then you get these junk nobodies that are basically afterthoughts this one is supposed to be seth but it's not it's actually mech seth okay whatever and this guy gives me the vibes of the guy from final fight that used to whistle <laughs> you know and the goons would come in but it's not he's just called gary which is a big letdown you can clearly see that his face it is, is see he even does the, the the thing come here finger you can clearly see that he's literally a cut copy pasta of that guy but i guess capcom must have lost the rights to him or must have lost the rights to a whole bunch of fighters because as you can see um three of the final four aren't there so Bullrog's not there vega's not there sagat's not there okay akuma is not here um so why add if you needed characters to fill in the roster okay why didn't you add those characters why didn't you add in heck heck uh Uren's not even in the game Oro's not in the game um remy's not in the game sheen uh, sean or sheen however you want to pronounce his name is not in the game um uh cactus c jack's not in the game um oh god dorian dark's not in the game um hakito's not in the game um Oh, God, what is his name? Kyrie isn't in the game. Um, and that, th that's just ones I can think of from Street Fighter EX Plus Alpha off the top of my head. They're not in this game. Okay? And out of Street Fighter 3, because clearly you've grabbed, you know, Ken and Ryu from Street Fighter 3. You know? And, 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 and whatnot. Okay? Even from Street Fighter Alpha. Okay? You, you are missing quite a fair few characters. Again, Balrog, missing. Sagat, missing. Vega, missing. It's like whoever planned out this initial release roster just just literally put up a poster of every name of every Street Fighter character that they've got on a wall and then fired a shotgun at it. And whatever the whole, whatever, wherever the pellets landed, that they went, right, he's in the game. It, it, it makes absolutely no sense, this character roster. It makes no sense whatsoever. And I'm sorry, but if this game has the blessing and backing of Capcom, okay, you've got no excuse as to why you've not added the characters into the game. Or why they're not 
in the game, but currently unobtainable. It just means like coming soon or something. Like, like at least give us some hope. You know, like put up a, 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 a banner image or something. And these banners, by the way, were taken from a Mujin fight, uh, Mujin fighting forums. The, these graphics were taken from Mujin fighting forums. You want to know how I know? I'm a member of Mujin fighting forums because I used to make Mujin characters. I actually made a Street Fighter, uh, a Street Fighter Three ver version of Dan. I even, even, even did the sprites myself. I, I even did the sprats myself of a Street Fighter 3 Dan. There's a video up on one of my old dead YouTube channels. So, I know for a fact that the, the majority of the UI is, is copy pasta from uh, their other games. And this, this, this reeks of that SNK clone that they had for a, a while back that flopped because the problem with, with games like this when you are an Asian game developer and you're trying to market it towards the West, you can't throw all of this click on me, click on me, click on me, click on me, click on me on the screen, okay? Because I'm not going to lie, most people that are going to want to, that, that, that are nostalgic to play this game, most, most adults like myself, they're in their 40s, yes, I've just aged myself, that are nostalgic and want to play just a quick, get, get a quick member berry of Street Fighter, it is not going to want to click on this, then 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 click on this. Why can't you not just have a claim all button? A simple claim all button. Instead of having all these... And all of these is just to try and sell you something. Literally, all it is is just to try and sell you packs and perks and, and, and stuff. See, you want to unlock and buy some immediately? Buy me! I'm only $100. You know, and, and oh, 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 and there's also now a subscription perk plan. There you go. There's, there's the alternate skin Sakura, so you can have her straight away for, would have been $100 now. It's limited. It's only $49.99. <sighs> oh, and then, of course, you can get freaking, you know, you can get like a, a premium account. Of course, there's this premium on top of premiums. So that's super premium. Uh, and and it, it's just... No. This 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 game is supposed to scratch your member berries and all it does is is just irk my bollocks. I'm sorry. It it, it the, the the fighting art style, okay? And I'll I'll even I'll even show you, okay, the fighting art style. See, this is another thing. 100 clicks later. Why why is there over like there shouldn't be over more than 3 clicks for anything. Okay? I get it. This is supposed to be for a smartphone. Okay, but still, or a tablet, you're going to lose players that are just going to get tired of having to tap and tap and tap and tap and tap and tap. Their fingers are going to bleed. I'm, I'm not even joking. Their fingers will bleed. Your fingers will bleed. Okay, and then you get these bounties that you can do once per day. Okay, like clean the dojo. Okay, I need to send in two C class fighters. Uh, there are ones are lightning and ones are fire. So we click on lightning. We click on click on lightning. Grab Seth. Click on fire. Grab you. Deploy. Okay. Striking. So I need another fire level C, and then a wind level C. Deploy. Striking mission. Again, wind level C, and then a fire level C. Did you, did you see how how monotonous this is? I understand where they're coming from to try and do this. I do. But at the same time, it, it is rather monotonous. Okay? Like, why am I cleaning the dojo twice? Seriously, what? Is your dojo that dirty 24-7 that you have to have it cleaned multiple times? Bloody horror. See, look, clean the dojo. 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 Strike training. Strike training. It's like, could, could you not come up with better names? Anyway, let's. And the chat system is, is absolutely abhorred. 
e even if you lock it, which means you, you see, and literally all it is is just them spamming their names and join our guild. That's it. Which is why I, I, I just no, not interested. Um, and of course, this is the fighter upgrade system where you need um, those cans of those cans of drink like I was telling you about right here, and then you also need these these breakstone crystals. Um, and it, it gets to the point where once your character's above level 60, there's really no point in leveling them up because you've already unlocked all of their skills. Yes, they'll, they'll go up in skill level, you know. Okay, fair enough. But ultimately, it, the character's lost all its flash in the pan. Okay, now, this is another thing. When you click on, on a fight, it... This is the little buddy system I was telling you about. So she's friendly with Guy and Guile and M. Bison. Okay. In no world would Guile and M. Bison ever be friends. Again, it's part of the law. Okay. They just wouldn't. Okay. Kame. M. Bison, that's a given because the story arc. And of course, evil Kame. But Dudley... I've never known... Well, maybe it's because, of that, because they're English, I guess. But I don't understand why she has, would have a bond with them. Now, this is another... This, this is the ultimate kick in the teeth. Are you ready? Ryu has no bond with Ken. None. He has no bonds with no one. Not even Ihonda. Now, think about that in... in the Street Fighter 2 and, uh, manga, Ryu and Ihonda were friends. They actually trained for a bit together during the Ihonda Dalsim fight. Dalsim had to had to tap out because Ryu's chi, God, I hate that fucking shit. His chi was in, interfering with Dalsim's ability to fight, which makes no fucking sense. But so why doesn't Ryu get the ability to be pally pally with someone? Why can't Ken get the ability to be pally pally with someone? Because Ken's got no no pally pally either. See, none. Ken's not pally pally with no one. Not even Sheen, his apprentice. No one. Okay, Fei Long. Okay. How does he even know, guy? How does he even know, uh 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 uh, uh Cody? As far as I know, Phalong's never been anywhere mentioned in um, Final Fight. Sat you Night Slam Masters, yes, because he's Scorpion. Which most people don't realise. Scorpion is Phalong that's been... Um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, manipulated by M. Bison and, and the Shadow Law Psycho indoctrination. He, tur he turned Phalong into Scorpion. So... Yeah, I could see that, but I don't understand why Guy and and Cody are even remote. Same as Ihonda. Why is Ihonda's e e Japanese and a sumo wrestler? What the heck does he got to do with a bond with Fei Long? Fei Long's Chinese. It, 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 again, what the hell? Okay, Ibuki. Okay, Ibuki's got no bonds with no one. Okay, Rose. Rose has got with with but she's not mentioned on Viper. Okay, and Dalsim. Dalsim's a whore. Cause I swear Dalsim's like befriended everybody. He's he, he's like a a, a a fucking whore. I'm not even joking. Okay, but if you go to Dalsim, she's not mentioned. See, Poison. Okay, Ilana. Okay, and Combat Guile. Okay. Okay, uh, add on uh, Fei Long. Okay, but Fei Long's not mentioned. Doesn't mention him. Okay, Dudley makes no no uh, kickboxer boxer I guess and and then DJ. Um, I I I don't get it. DJ and add on were were launched in two different versions of Street Fighter. DJ came in on on. Super, uh, su um, Super Street Fighter 2 and Add-on came in in Street Fighter Alpha. Um, and as far as I know, they've never met. Um, okay, here's another point. Ready? Rulento. 
No one. Not a single person from Mad Gear. Oh, that's another one. Where's Sodom? Sodom's missing from the from the lineup. He's not in the lineup. Hagar's not in the lineup. You know, why not? If, if you're going to do this, just rebrand it to, to like Capcom All Stars and throw in characters from all Capcom games like Hagar, like, uh, um, hell, even Jin from Cybot, uh, Robot, uh, uh, Robot, uh, Cybot, I don't know, Jin from Robot Metal Madness. You can even throw him in there. He was in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. You know, um, the, the, uh, for a Street Fighter game. The roster is is just it's a the roster is a piss take. I understand that the game is just starting. Okay, I get that. Okay, I'll show you. I will show you initially the 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 the, the combat. Okay, so you got three levels enemies at at, four, uh, at 58 okay now i know he has no combat specialties he has no com no, no ally specialties i'm not sure about these two though so we're going to challenge but according to that so clearly two of them know each other and i've got a full 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 steam of five okay which means i've got a higher chance of winning okay so and my alpha combo gauge is going to start off with viper Fei Long, then Kame, then Viper again. So, pretty much, guys just going to stand there and get punched in the face and do nothing. Cool. So, we've quite literally just made one of my characters completely obsolete before he's even done anything. Okay. So, Alpha, Chain, Chain, Chain. Okay, so I've just lost two characters. Dave lost two characters. In fact, I've lost this fight. There you go. I've lost this fight. Yeah. That that that's it. You get no input whatsoever into how your characters fight other than you get to select their their combo chain. That's it. And the combo chain system is so broken as you can see that my even if I click modify, okay? And try to pick Guy, then Kame, like so. And now Fei Long, with Fei Long being my my tag assistant, okay, will get to do pretty much nothing. Okay, so let, let's try that out. Okay, that's that's all I get to do. That's it. And there you go. That's the only thing that changed the outcome, and I still lost Guy. Like I said, the, the combat system is, is and this it's supposed to be a, a based on a uh, um, rock paper scissors shoot system. Okay, so fire beats wind, wind beats electricity, electricity beats fire. Okay. Uh, uh, light and dark are the only ones that can damage each other, etc., etc. Okay. And right now I'm using four fighters from two from from the same faction and two fighters from another faction, so they get a, a hit point bonus of twenty percent and an attack bonus of twenty five percent. Not that I actually saw that. So, and like I said, this is the only real influence that you can do on the fight is sort out your 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 combo strain that's it leveling up the characters um i guess means that they they get to use level one or level two skills level three skills example but other than that once you've unlocked all three skills for the fighters it, it the, the game's lost its flash in the pan kind of thing and one of the issues i i'm having with the game is the actual audio. Now I'm going to turn the audio on for a second and you're going to see what I'm talking about. Let me. Now, when the audio has finished, the song just cuts out and starts again.
I hope I don't get a, a copyright strike for this bit, but if I do, I do. And you're going to hear it in a few seconds, just stop playing, go silent, and then start over again. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. So, like I said, the, the, the audio, this is why I love Bluestack, because I can just cut the audio off completely. I don't have to do it within game. And this is another thing, you're going to get, there's scammers already trying to spam pure gifts, blah, 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 crap. It, it's just, it's like, there's, there's already spam bots There's already spam bots in the game. And again, I, I just, I'm just, I'm at the point where I'm just like, you're kidding me, the game. And th th this is the newest version of the game. If you click here, see, Charlie-7279. It's the new, it, it's, it's the only release of the game that's out right now. And it, it absolutely makes no sense. So... Even if I wanted to, to max spam out, you know, uh, uh, leveling up Hugo or something like that, you know, again, yeah, he, again, I don't understand why he's befriended the Kame. I mean, I know she's attractive, but, and, and douse him, again, it makes, it makes no sense. He's from Mad Gear. It would make more sense if he if he had Relento and Sodom and all the other Mad Gear guys. But he's only got Poison, which makes again it's like Capcom missed out on a big opportunity. This game company missed out on a big opportunity. Who whoever it is, who I have no idea who this game company is because I don't even mention their name anywhere. Um. You know, it's crunchy roll games. I don't want to join a guild. Yeah, this one's asking for a resident in my dojo. Even though I've put residents in my dojo, that's another thing. You can go here, um, click on dojo. See, I've got fighters in my dojo. I've got residents in my dojo. See, I've got, I've got fighters in my dojo. Okay, I've got residents in my dojo. But it will not let me use them. No, I am not gonna I'm not gonna burn a Ken or a Fei Long or even an add on. No. You're up in the night, I'm not burning them guys yet. Not yet. So all in all the game itself is just I don't know. 
I mean, there's some good bones here, but there's a lot of mistakes being made. And I mean, a lot of mistakes being made. Okay, so it wants me to draw. You're going to see how, how often it is you get really crappy characters. Another, another, uh, uh, Mikey Toe. Okay, so I'll draw a different one. Rufus. Okay, I'll draw it. Even though I've, I, I've openly asked it to give me a different variant. See? Junk guy. Mech Seth, junk. Gary, junk. And junk again. Okay, so it's going to give me these soul shards. Okay, how to obtain, awaken. In the dismissal shop. Okay. So, let's go back. Where's the dismissal shop? Train. Awaken. Dismiss. It doesn't mention... See? Do you see how many clicks I had to go to? It, just in order to to get to here. It's, it's like, what are you on? Like, why, why do I have to click through so many bloody icons to get to one thing? It, it boggles the mind. Now, I'm buying up all these shards because I'm going to use them to get some more annoying fighters for my roster that aren't going to be worth anything. So, six fighters. What do I get? All right. So, let's awaken Magito. Again, not that it, it, it does anything. Sorry, but it, it just doesn't, in, in my honest opinion, none of this does anything. I mean, it would be interesting if you, if they got like, I don't know, skin differences, you know? Like an actual different skin or something. Or they gained an additional attack. Or something of that. It, that You know? Like right now, I could take Cody up twice. And it's not going to do anything. Rufus is... Yeah, see, it wants me to take Cody up. Okay. I don't know why, but there you go. Now Cody is... Super woke. <laughs> He's a mega Karen. Dun, dun, dun. And of course, I've got to go to the gallery and then click on this, and then click on that to get 50 crystals, then click on this, then click on that, then click on this, then click on that to get another 50 crystals. Again, why is there not just a simple, like, button where it just gives it to you? You know? Why, why do I have to keep clicking on a hundred different things in order to get them? It it makes no sense. Uh, 
And so now I've got my rock dash. And what's this one? Lonely Fugitive. When attacking an enemy effective with control effect, Cody has the least chance of producing a tornado which deals damage you. Yeah, percentage chances and shit just are just not worth it. Okay. 90% of the stats are wrong 100% of the time. <laughs> yeah, that, that's basically what it is. So, pretty much, you, you, you got a quick sneak peek at this new Street Fighter mobile game. Stay away from it, guys. It, it's an absolute fucking nightmare. Ah, right, peace.